Smart kids from 10 school districts throughout Southeast Minnesota were showing their science skills today. Rochester Community and Technical College hosted the regional STEM fair this morning. KIT News 3's Evan Berg was able to check out students' innovative ideas. Evan, what was like the participation like for today's STEM-focused event? Jess, I spoke with the organizers, and according to them, the fair had 199 students competing this year. With that many whiz kids, it's no surprise to me that the competition was fierce. The Rochester Education Association's Regional STEM Fair is a competition where students can showcase projects in a variety of science and engineering fields. They build prototypes, conduct experiments, and then share their findings to compete for that gold ribbon. We put the right things on a pedestal. We put the students' hard work, we put their curiosity, and just their just a chance for them to do something they want to do, not something that's prescribed for them. And the contestants had a lot of innovative projects to share. An absolute wonderful opportunity, and I had a lot of fun doing this. I've been working on it since September, so it's been a long time, like a, long, a little longer term project, and I think it's, it's, I think it's amazing. Studies on antibiotic resistance, memory retention, and microplastic filters were just some of the projects on display by local teens. Um, I had a lot of fun because I like tinkering and trying to figure stuff out. So I had a lot of fun tinkering how to make my filter. But for a lot of kids I talked to, winning wasn't even the most important part of the event. Well, I've done a lot of fairs like this, but this one's really fun just because I get to see like a lot of other people's projects and it's just good to like see other people's experience. Kids will even have the chance to win one or two hundred dollar cash prizes for some of the projects shown today. Sponsors of the fair, like Rochester Earth Fest, have donated money to go towards the best projects submitted within certain categories, like sustainability. Good to know. Thank you, Evan. And we've also been told two lucky students will have a chance to advance beyond the state fair circuit. Although I would argue it's not luck, it is skill. They're going to be able to go all the way to National STEM Fair in Los Angeles. That's taking place in May.